Now, the bit you've all been waiting for, it's the chorus. So there's a few steps to this. Um, if you're using the, if you're looking at this project, you hit the hide tracks button. So I've hidden all these tracks up until now. These are four different instruments which are all coming together to make to make that uh, that chorus. Okay, firstly I've got a piano, and you can you can see how I've transcribed that in MIDI. Uh, I've got this trans synth. This second trans synth, uh, an octave up, and this guy called Glow Stick to add some noise, a bit of air to the sound. Okay, and all of them together. Okay, so each one is is filling out a different part of the sound. I, I've I've no idea if this was is it uh, actually what Avicii used, but I've just kind of guessed, and I'm seeing what he's probably done something along these lines. Once again, they're all presets, so you'll find them uh, in the library. Once you've got this drawn out, you need to bounce it. Okay, so I've soloed these tracks, these four tracks. And I'll just I'll so use the cycle region section to select what I'm going to bounce. Bounce this out. You can call it whatever um, chorus or something like that. Okay, so bounce it out. When you've got it bounced, bring it back in onto its own new audio track. So I'm going to unsolo these guys and I'm going to hide them again. So what we've brought back in is is a piece of audio. Uh, these slowdowns is what we're going to look at next. So this kind of vinyl slowing down sort of sound. Um, you'll need to cut that audio section up so you can use the scissors tool if you like. And cut it at those sections just where it slows down each time. Just for this boom sort of sound each time. So I've, I've cut it up uh, bit by bit here. Once you've got that done you need the crossfade tool. Okay, so normally you, we use the crossfade tool for drawing uh, volume crossfades between audio regions so that they'll, they'll um, segue into each other more smoothly. But this time, we're gonna draw the crossfades just as we would for an audio, or sorry, for a volume fade. But we're gonna bring up the inspector. Okay, so you can either hit the inspector button here or I on the keyboard. And uh, drop this down so you can see what you're doing. Instead of fade, we're going to choose slow down. Okay, so this is what's going to make our slow downs. So you're going to have to draw a bunch of them, and when you're done, it'll sound like that. Then, for convenience sake, instead of copying and pasting this whole collection of regions, I've just merged them all together. So I hit merge, and it'll make a new audio file which I've then added here and just looped on. Okay, so after the first, the initial uh, chorus. This bass line comes in, yet again, just another preset. So it's what's chill out bass. Once again, you'll find it in the library. Okay, so you can continue on with the track. There's a few different synths come in and out. There's a vocal breakdown. There's more builds, more choruses, and then finally there's just percussion. And you can fill those bits in yourself. So once again, the, the purpose of this tutorial hasn't been to figure out exactly how Avicii creates his sound, but just to suggest some of the techniques that he's probably used to make this song. I hope you've enjoyed it. Check out the website at www.secretschoolofsound.ie for more. Thanks a lot.